first start with that solo car crash, which, ha which happened around 4 this morning. Crews eventually cleared the scene at 6. Still, East Bay drivers heading into the city faced residual delays made worse by the Monday morning commute. So we wanted to know how future changes might help alleviate such challenges. Video taken shortly after the crash shows that car wedged between two toll booths. We also saw one person taken away from the scene on a stretcher. No word yet on that person's condition. Caltrans crews had to work quickly to reopen lane 6 through 9 as the toll plaza started to get crowded with drivers. The incident brought up questions about the long planned removal of the toll booths. Here is a look at renderings of what the Bay Bridge might look like after the eventual demolition. Caltrans previously announced it was delaying the the removal of the toll booths until February 2026, saying it wants to upgrade the automatic toll collection system and remove the booths at the same time. The Metropolitan Transportation Commission Bay Area Toll Authority says the Bay Bridge will be the final location of toll booth removal as it is the most complex. A spokesperson addressed how the change might impact our behavior behind the wheel. It is a tight squeeze and it's signed for, uh, for slowing to 25 miles an hour. Now, the, the upside of all of this is that when this transition to open road tolling is complete, there will no longer be any toll booths, no longer any need to slow down to squeeze through that narrow opening. Booths will be taken down at every state-owned toll bridge and replaced with that open road tolling. Beyond this morning's crash, in 2017, a Bay Bridge toll worker was killed after a drunk driver crashed into the booth. Now, during the pandemic, human toll collectors were removed. Still, many say this morning's crash only highlights any hazard.